Welcome back to Capital Connection. David Costa, Dean of Robert Kennedy College, joins us now live from Zurich. David, a great time to be speaking to you because yesterday we saw absolute carnage when it came to the Italian bond market. It's a big question mark about where they're headed, how sustainable their situation is. Does it make you start changing your mind from the rather bullish view that you've had on uh, the market and also on financials? A very good morning to you. Yes, in a way, I have to say that, you know, I've been very optimistic about the situation in Europe, and I've been waiting for some sort of resolution, which I thought it came when the, the, the triple plan was eventually announced, but my uh, view has changed since uh, the situation in Greece has changed very dramatically, and at the same time, the situation in Italy has deteriorated very quickly. So I would say that now, while I was probably right in the short term to see a small rally in the European banks, uh, I think now is really time to pause, uh, to put a pause button on European financials and financial even in general, because I don't see yet this big bazooka, this solution coming from Europe, which will have to be, in my opinion, only one thing, which is money printing. And I don't think Europe, the ECB, is ready to do that yet. I think the ECB was rather clear uh, overnight, uh, David, saying that if they're expected to be the lender of last resort, that puts their, uh, their independence at question, and that's not something that they're ready to take on right now. And yesterday you saw French banks pretty much try and dump as much Italian exposure as they could. It's becoming a question of whether we start stepping away from the banks now, or is it a question of starting to believe that the ECB will be forced to do something? Well, I think the problem is actually bigger than banks. Uh, the banks' uh, problem is a reaction of the problem on the sovereign debt. In Italy, I don't think that what uh, Germany and other countries hope will happen, which is uh, to have some quick reforms, uh, will change the dynamics and the confidence of the markets. I think actually the situation in Italy now with this political vacuum has worsened it. And I do not see the reforms in Italy, where politics are notably fairly slow, to happen even if uh, there were a technical government or anything to come on the short term, which I think is, mm. it, it could actually lead to, to even election now, which will add uncertainty. So I don't see Italy to have the, the capacity to do those reforms quickly enough. So the ECB, if it doesn't do something, the situation can turn really ugly or for very severe concerns for everybody in Europe and the euro. Right. Yeah, you know, uh, David, the fact that you prefer luxury handbag makers over banks, does that, is that a really telling sign that you are dire about European conditions and yet you, you're telling investors to focus more on those who are reliant on emerging market demand, i.e. China? Well, you know, a luxury uh, handbags maker uh, Hermes in France uh, has now a bigger capitalization than the second and the third French bank together. So what I'm comfortable with now in my portfolio and what I see as a good potential is those brands that will endure a crisis, those brands that have a competitive advantage, and those companies where it's pretty easy to understand what their exposure is, where their profit comes from, etc. I don't see that in banks anymore. I see a lot mm. of confusion. I see a lot of... Uh, and even if in the short term there might be another patch that is not a long-term solution so I'm more comfortable to luxury or something which is easy to understand yeah so the fact that uh, this is a sharp contrast from your earlier comment on our program and you were telling investors to buy get into financials because they were their valuations were looking super cheap the fact that you're telling investors to get out what does this mean this means that you expect a wave of fundraising you expect a couple of bankruptcies take us through your thoughts Well, to be clear, I, I'm not necessarily saying to get out, but it's certainly I wouldn't get in now because uh, there is a risk that this big solution, uh, as Marty suggested before, is not going to come quickly enough to avoid further deterioration. So yes, you could still have possibilities, even in financial, but the risk reward ratio for me is not any more as interesting as before because even with that big announcement of uh, what Europe could have done, the markets are still uncertain. So given this scenario, I'd say there is too much uncertainty now, uh, we, even with the possible reward, to get into financial right now. So if you are into financial, you might want to hold a bit longer. There might be a solution on the short term, but on the long term, I, I change my view because I see too much indecision on the political level in Europe. 
David, let, uh, let's put on your academic hat for just a second and give us your take on what's going on uh, with the U.S. as well. We've got, all brushed under the carpet all of the issues that uh, different counties in the U.S. have. Uh, you have Jefferson County filing for bankruptcy, uh, uh, and it just seems to highlight the fact that maybe we focus a little too much on Europe, completely forgotten about the problems that still exist in U.S. states. Absolutely. I mean, this is really a global problem that we have uh, to different degrees in Europe is more intense, but in the U.S. we still have problems as well. The announcement yesterday of, of one big county in Alabama to go bankrupt, and let's remember that they go bankrupt under different uh, uh, conditions than companies, so they have much more leverage to our, uh, to our creditors. I think that's uh, a sign that situation globally, besides some few spots uh, in emerging markets, are, are not that positive. So uh, globally, that's why it's so important that Europe acts very quickly to avoid a deep recession in Europe, which will inevitably spill over also to the U.S., which is still in troubles due to unemployment and other situations, but also to other emerging markets. I mean, emerging markets cannot drive the whole world. So it's very crucial to, have, to take some decision, even if politically are not the best solution, that is maybe the only solution on the table right now. David, really appreciate your time. Always enjoy speaking with you. David Costa, the Dean of Robert Kennedy College. In the meantime,